You know you can get fined for that. Rita. Hello, Mother. Why are you on crutches? I slipped on the ice. My leg is broken. Always so clumsy. I had hoped you would outgrow it. Sorry to disappoint you, yet again. Don't sulk, Rita. Come, kiss Mutter hello. Frisco, it's Anna. Hi. I have a situation developing that might involve the Cassidines. Now, I need you to pull the WSB dossier on them and anything you can get on the whereabouts of Helena. Strictly speaking, I don't really have access to that kind of stuff anymore, but you do. I need you to call me. It's urgent. Uh -huh. A life may depend on it. Uh, yeah, Lulu, uh, Leslie, Lou, uh, Spencer Falconeri, blonde hair, uh, hazel eyes. Um, I'm gonna send you over the APB. I, I need to get uh, get in touch with the uh, Homeland Security and Interpol. Uh, uh, you, you can do that for me? Thank you. Thank you. Anything? No. Did you get any sleep? No. Me neither. Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is a pretty little face. Hey, uh, what, what else? What else do you see? What do you mean? I need your help, huh? How long will you be in town, Mother? I just arrived. You already impatient for my departure? I only asked. Relax. You're always so sensitive. I was teasing you, Shotzi. Teasing? <laughs> That's new and different. Since when did you get a sense of humor? This is hardly a fitting greeting. I don't know what you expect, Mother. You haven't come to visit me once since I moved to the States. You've been holed up in Europe with your lunatics and research for so All the more reason to pay you a visit. You're not here to see me. What else have you got going on in Port Charles? Just know that there isn't anything that I want more than to be with you. And I, I can't stand the thought of you being sad or lonely. And I can understand that you might want to cut yourself off from the possibility of being happy again. But you have to listen to me. You have to stop that right now, or you're going to become a bitter old man, and that's not good for you, and it's certainly not good for our daughter. So I have to ask you to do something, something really big, something that you have to do for me. <clears throat> so, I'm, uh, I'm trying to rule out Scott Baldwin as a suspect, and, uh, and it's trying to find out more information on the cast and eyes. And, uh, the thing is, we don't have, don't have a single lead. Honey, you're gonna find Lou. Okay. I think I need you to help me do that. How? What do you think? With your visions, you know, like you saw the toy from Bobby, and the, that it was dangerous. Don't take no, maybe Honey, you can don't. see. Just listen to me, okay? Maybe you can have another vision. Maybe you can see who's got Lulu. Or maybe you can see where they've taken her or something like that. But honey, honey, you know that that's not how it works. I can't control these things. You know, they, they usually come whenever they want and usually will not when I want them. Oh, okay, I realize that, Ma. I don't... I don't... I, got, I got absolutely nothing right now. Can every second that she's missing... means we have less chance of finding her alive. Okay, I need you to help me. I need to find my wife. I am so glad you're here. Well, I have to admit, I'm surprised to see you here. He doesn't know. Know what? I, what? I, I left you about a half dozen messages. Well, I've, I've been in transit, out of touch. I came here straight from the airport. What? You mean you didn't get any of my texts? No, I honestly came here to see Lulu, and I saw the police outside. Where is she? She's gone, Nick. What She's been kidnapped. I'm too late. I'm too late. Too late for what? I want our little girl to grow up in a happy home. So I'm asking you to honor my memory and the memory that we have as 
a happy family and, and find someone else to be a family with again. So I'm telling you, it's okay with me if you move on and open your heart to another woman. She's out there. Come and get a girlfriend. <laughs> Go. Hi, Emma. Or should I say Belle? You look lovely. <laughs> you look silly. She's smart and she's funny and... Happy New Year. <gasps> Sabrina! Hey, girl! I hope you're ready to party. Say 2013. 2013. 2013. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Sabrina. She will love you. She will love Emma as if she were her own. I miss you. When are you going to babysit me again? I love my card. <laughs> it's a Valentine, Daddy. Oh, right, right, right. Guess who my Valentine is? Sabrina. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure she meant I love you forever, Sabrina. So please, Emma, find someone hey, Emma, come here. who will make you a family again. You miss her? Your mom? Yeah. All the time. I just really want Emma to have a mother figure. And quite frankly, you need a wife. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are women lined up around the block for you so feel free to pick one for yourself just know that i'm saying all of this because of how much i truly love you so i want you to give her a call i mean if you can't do it for yourself or for me do it for our daughter Let's begin again, let's begin again. So why are you really here, Mother? Can't a mother visit her daughter without being interrogated? I just wanted to see how you're getting on in your new job. I'm proud of you, Britta. Following in your mother's footsteps, becoming a doctor. I help couples have babies. I, I bring new life into the world. You usher it out. You have only a dim understanding of my work. Spare me, Mother. Just tell me why you're here. I just wanted to visit you, of course. But uh, I also had some other unrelated business to attend to in Port Charles. But that's being taken care of as we speak. Sorry. Sorry, I am getting nothing. Don't say that, OK? Just try again. <laughs> I would do anything in my power to help you find Lulu. I'm just, it's not working. All I'm getting here is a headache. Okay, so uh, what do you need? What do you need? Do you need to, you need to take a rest? Do you want to take a break? And then and then we can try again, okay? I can't force these visions to come. Look, this is, I the, wish... this is the mother of your grandchild, okay? You had a vision that she was in danger. Now she's in danger, so why can't you just do it again? Let's just, just take a break, okay? What? Do you want me to take a break? With all due respect, Commissioner, it's been more than 24 hours, but you know better than anyone what that means, right? Okay, so my mother had a vision of this toy. She, she warned me about it. Maybe she can figure out who this bastard is that took Lulu. What do you mean, too late? Too late for what? Too late to stop this from happening, from saving Lulu. It's Helena. Right? Look, she's had her kidnapped? I'm sorry. If I'd gotten here sooner, I could have prevented it. <gasps> Nicholas? Nicholas! <clears throat> no warning. First visit in years. You say you have some mysterious business in Port Charles, but yet you give no details. It's nothing for you to worry about, Liebchen. Now tell me, are you making progress with that handsome doctor of yours? I don't see a ring yet. I was Can we change the subject, please? When do you expect him to propose? Never. Okay? 
We're not even dating anymore. Why not? You assured me that you'd reconcile your differences. Well, we haven't. Not yet, anyway. Why the delay? Don't tell me that timorous, homely slip of a girl is a problem. Congratulations, Nurse Armstead. <laughs> Felix Dubois. You and me are gonna have fun, Nurse Dubois. I'm disappointed in you, Britta. This is very shoddy work. You told me you could handle her, and now it seems that you are quite wrong. I tried. Everything I did blew up in my face. Now my career is on the line, and Sabrina and her, her band of smarmy students are launching theirs. Congratulations, Nurse Rodriguez. <laughs> Sabrina Santiago. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I bet you thought this day would never come. <laughs> oh, not a doubt in my mind. Congratulations, Nurse Santiago. Here you go, Sabrina. Shots fired at 682 Paulson Apartment 4B. Oh. I need a bus. The, the, the Vic has a bullet to the torso. I'm sorry, I pushed you. I'm just I'm running out of options. I know, baby. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't. Honey, you have to believe that. Dante, I reported shots at your apartment. Oh. No, no. I see movement. Somebody's on the run over there. Nicholas, I'm the ambulance is on its way. Possible shooter, male, medium build. Relax. Gray hoodie below jeans. I'm gonna need a cordon around third and Van Ness. You gotta send a SWAT car to block the alley up at Baker, okay? Look at me, honey. Stay with me. You're gonna be okay. The ambulance is coming. I'm here. <laughs> 